I'm Dr. Tara Tobias. I'm pretty excited about the tutorial I'm going to share with you guys today. I love getting creative with my balance exercises and bringing in multiple challenges. So things that challenge not only your strength and work on your strengthening, your reaction time, um, but also will simulate real life situations so that as you're practicing these things, you're building up the skills that you'll need when you end up in those situations. Hopefully with the end goal, making these um, balance reactions and making the, ba the way your body responds in these situations more automatic and hopefully, hopefully result in you not losing your balance. So the first one what we're going to do is we're going to start with your feet side by side. And what you're going to do is just push to standing and immediately go into a step. Step it back and down. So you're just going to push to standing, immediately go into a step, back, and then down slow. And then you're going to switch over to the other leg. Use the chair, that's why I have it here. Uh, for the first time you do this, just to make sure that you're not going to lose your balance. So push, and then you're immediately going into a step. So this is the main part of this exercise that we're working on, is that immediate step that you take right after you stand up out of a chair. Push. This scenario is very common, whether it be to get up to rush to go to the bathroom, to answer the phone, to answer the door. It's being able to quickly stand and then shift gears and quickly take that step where the balance problems might occur. So that's again what we're working on. But in addition to that, I highly recommend that you try doing this without use, pushing up from the armrest to add that extra strength challenge to it. Of course, in a real situation, you would use the armrest to push up. Since we're in an exercise mode right now and we're working on developing strength, if you can, Try do try challenging yourself a little bit more by not using the armrests. So you're gonna push up, step, back down, and then you're gonna switch to the other leg. So again, hand up here if you need it. Take a step and back down, and and step it back, and back down. And then once you get good at that, and you don't feel like you're gonna lose your balance, you can move both hands to your thighs immediately go into that step and then back down. So to change things up a little bit, we don't always step straight ahead. We want to practice stepping in different directions. Um, again, I love thinking about things like this and creating different situations or different scenarios or different challenges that will simulate real life situations. So this time that immediate step is going to be in a different direction. So. You're going to push and step, step, and back down. So if you need to start, start with your hand right here. Push, step. So you can see taking that immediate step. This could really happen in real life. When the doorbell rings or when the, the phone rings, you're not really thinking, oh, I've got to go sit to stand, got to make sure I'm balanced, and then I'll take a step. You're thinking about the phone, or you're thinking about getting to the bathroom, or you're thinking about the doorbell, and you might not focus as much on standing up, shifting your weight, and taking that step. So practicing this will make those reactions more automatic so that you don't need to think about it as much in those scenarios when these situations actually do occur. You're going to push, turn, back down. So another thing that's really important that you work on is adding unpredictable elements to it. So not knowing what's coming is another way to challenge your balance. It's hard to do that by yourself, but in therapy what I would do is I would wait until the last minute if my patient was doing this and I'd either say right or left or forward. And that means they either need to step to the right or they need to step forward or they need to step to the left and again takes more of the thinking out of it which is really important when this these situations come up in real life 
So there's a lot of different directions this can go. The, the main point of this exercise, again, I want to just reiterate, it's that immediate step that you take after you stand up from a chair. You want that to be as automatic as possible, where you have to do the least amount of thinking. Remember, there's a lot of situations that come up where you're either rushed or you're thinking about something else. So these scenarios or that step needs to be automatic. So the best way to get that more automatic is to practice, practice, practice. Practice when you're not distracted or you're not actually in a rush to make sure that you are safe. And then hopefully, eventually, the end goal be, being that that's going to become more automatic. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, like always, please, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Uh, you'll get notifications when I post new videos and hopefully these videos, you're finding them helpful. Again, as usual, please comment below. If you have any problem areas that you would like me to address in a video, I love getting ideas. Please like it so I know whether or not these balance videos are helpful and whether or not people like the direction I'm going with the balance videos. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So until next time, you all have a great day.